Good morning, investors and traders. This is Naeem Mousam, Chief Market Analyst at Avatrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's segment, I wanted to discuss two important uh, commodities, and that is oil prices, which have tanked uh, more recently. So we'll be discussing why they have and where they can go next. And of course, gold prices, which is on the verge of an important price move. The, before we do anything else, the full disclaimer is right in front of you. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me. Now, as always, I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform and we'll begin the conversation by looking at the gold chart. So what matters on the fundamental side? On the fundamental side, we have one major event taking place today, and that is Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve Chairman, and of course, uh, Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, they'll be both speaking for the second time in front of the House Committee, defending their policies and, of course, giving us more update about inflation and soaring bond yields. So their comments are likely to bring volatility. Yesterday, they failed to bring any volatility in the gold prices, but traders are expecting some moves to come in today. So what about the technical analysis and why gold prices are on the verge of a major move? Well, the reason for that is on the four hour time frame, the price is very much trading between the for between the 100 day simple moving average and of course the 200 day simple moving average so to begin with this is your 200 day simple moving average this is your 100 day simple moving average this is so this is your 50 day simple moving average and this is your 100 day simple moving average now the price has been moving very much in a sideways pattern since 9th of march we are seeing the price very much moving in sideways direction not much move has happened Although the price moved from this particular support zone, which we mentioned in our previous technical analysis video, that the price is likely to move from this particular area, and the price did move from that area. Now, one important thing for us to pay attention to is the divergence which is taking place. Now, what do I mean by that? That means that the price has been very much moving in a sideways pattern, as you can see over here. But if we look at the RSI, the RSI is trading to the downside, as it clearly is stated by this particular line. So this shows that perhaps a momentum is likely to be to the downside rather than to the upside. However, what we do need to pay attention to is that the price, if it breaks above the 50 day simple moving average from here, then the, we could see the price moving to the upside and breaking the important moving average, which is your 200 day simple moving average, and from here onwards moving towards a major resistance of 1800. However, for that to happen, the price really needs to break above the 50 and the 100 day simple moving average and it needs to stay above them if it doesn't happen the rsi on the other hand is already indicating to us that this particular price move is likely to move to the downside so we could see potentially a move to the downside so this sideway move that we have been very much seeing it can really uh, break the price to the downside so that is all in relation to gold prices now what about crude prices which have really you know uh, dropped uh, literally price has fallen off a cliff that because recently crude oil prices reached all the way to $67 and when the prices were that high it was very much given that the prices are likely to fall and that is what happened why it was very much given because look at at the distance between the 50 day simple moving average at this time and where the prices were trading of course the prices were trading way went uh, too far and too far so a retracement was due now of course ever since the price has touched that level price has come back towards its 50 day simple moving average and i believe there are chances that we may see the price moving towards its 100 day simple moving average and look at the rsi it is also moving to the downside but it has 
you, uh, uh, reach a level or it is coming close to that uh, critical level of 30, which is associated with oversold areas. So meaning price is likely to find a balance, price is likely to find its support zone to the upside. So where that support zone could be, if we do see that, that particular support zone could be where the prices are trading right now. Because remember, later on today, we are expecting the crude inventory data to come in. And if that data confirms that yes, supply isn't really too much of an issue, we could see the prices moving back to the upside. Now, I'm just changing the color of this particular uh, line because obviously this is uh, your our support zone and we know that our support zone should be mentioned in green color. So that is what exactly we have done. But otherwise, I'm expecting this price to move towards this area, this major area of support. Similarly, for Brent oil prices, the situation is no different over here as well. Once again, we can put our uh, moving averages over here as well. So we go to insert indicators trend. And from here, we put our moving average. The first one remains in pink, which is your 50 day simple moving average. Then we change the second one by putting another moving average and this time we change the period to 100 not to 50,000 but 100 and change the color to yellow because that is our 100 a simple moving average and finally our last moving average is going to be 200 a simple moving average and for that we're going to change the period over here to 200 and change the color to green because green is our 200 day simple moving average. So clearly the situation looks very similar to as the crude oil is. So again, we're gonna keep our support zone at 54 to 56 and our first immediate resistance zone just over here at 64 to 65 and then our major resistance zone at all time about well, the recent highs just like how we have kept things for crude oil a resistance being at 67 16 to 67.93 the second resistance 60.99 to 62 and then the major uh, uh, sorry minor support at 58 to 57 and the major support 52 to 51 so same situation is very much be playing out over here we can bring our minor support zone which is going to be just over here again i am not optimistic about this support zone at all but this is an area where we could potentially see a bounce in the prices. So let's continue to monitor them and then we will revisit these prices as they will form new, uh, new shape. That's all for now. See you guys next time.